What is up guys? Hope y'all are having a fantastic day. We are having an interesting day. It is interesting weather. Weather. I'm actually like trying to make a good video for y'all, but I don't have all the equipment, but I'm still going to make it. I got dirt on my hands. Anyways, I'm going to tell y'all what y'all need. Y'all already know what this video is by the title. I've been waiting to make this video and waiting to have a good camera to make this video. I know I made a video back, but that was with my phone, bad quality. Not very many views. Anyways, I got brand new equipment. I still don't got the right equipment. I need a power washer and I need a, uh, I can't even think of it. Anyways, I'm going to be using the Outdoor Edge kit today. And, um, oh, and a bucket. Or not a bucket, but a big, uh, pot. So you can put the heads in. Alright, so that's what you need for this video. We're going to um, start cutting up this head. Uh, stay tuned for the video. I'm going to put some music on. Y'all just going to watch me cut the head. And I'm going to talk here and there in between. Stay tuned. All right, guys. So as you see, as you saw, I got all the hair, all the skin off. Next thing you want to do is, if you're wondering what all that was right there, all that blood, it is the uh, basically bloodshot who was ramming himself in the cage. But anyways, we're gonna go ahead and take take as much meat off as you can. The more meat you take off, the better it is for you. In the next part of the uh, in the next session. Guys, so what is going on right now is I've just got done uh, skinning the outside. I gotta put it back in the water, in hot water, because the uh, it's like it's still frozen in the jaw. I couldn't rip it open as y'all saw, maybe or not. Not, but um, what's going on with this grill and everything? We're not gonna do that. We're actually gonna do it inside. The quality might not be the greatest, but right now it's still daylight, so my y'all can see really good. Like I said, like I'm learning how to do all this, guys, and I'm just y'all learning with me. But we're gonna take it inside. And I'm going to finish pulling the jaw apart, taking the tongue out, and then you're going to fill a pot up and you're going to turn your oven on. And you're going to boil it to about 30 minutes or until the meat on the nose starts peeling or just any meat starts coming off and, cut and you can tell it's kind of cooked. Then you're going to take it out here, you're going to wash it with the water hose and get all that off. And then you're going to put it back in the water with 50% peroxide, 50% water. And then we're going to come out here, wash it again, put it back in the peroxide, set the peroxide in the garage overnight, come back out here, wash it off, and it should be so white, guys. I mean, it, they're absolutely beautiful. But let's finish getting all this uh, meat off. And then um, we're going to put it in the boiling water for about 30 minutes, come out here and wash it. Hope you all enjoying the video so far. Got another video, maybe. I set the raccoon trap. I got a... Uh, uh, make a video on that and then you already know the hog trap and I got good good videos coming out and then I want to go rabbit hunting and I don't know if y'all know but uh Christmas break just started so I got a lot of videos trying to come out um I actually lost my most important SD card so I'm probably gonna not come out with the video till or after this video I might not come out with one for another three days because like I, I need I need that one and my mom and dad might give me one for Christmas but um, right, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and bring y'all inside and everything. This is what we're cooking up with. Sorry for the orange light. That's good light right there. And this is just orange light bulbs. Actually, gonna get all good light bulbs. I got a good ring coming in from Amazon. So bear with me. I hope y'all can still, hope y'all can see me and everything. But anyways, we got our hog right here sitting in water. Now I know it's small and it's not the biggest hog, but the reason I'm making this video is so that y'all know how to do it. So if y'all get big hogs and stuff, but uh. We got our water boiling right here, or we have it pre-boiling. The reason we have it pre-boiling is because you want to make sure that it's, by the time you're done with your head, you can set it in there, let it boil, 
But uh, that's what's going on in here, and we will be back with y'all whenever we are getting ready to boil the head. Alright guys, we got the meat off the jaws. Now what we need, and I'm all freaking green and blue. Uh so we got them now I'm orange. Um we got them in there right now. I don't know if y'all can see or not. I know it's gonna be all blurry. Uh and then what we're gonna put is we're gonna put some game detergent inside there. And what it does is it helps with degreasing and stuff, and it gets that grease, because hogs have a lot of grease and uh they're like humans. Put it that way. But anyways, we're going to put this inside there and uh, let it boil. I'll show you when it comes to a full rolling boil. Until then, enjoy the video. Alright guys, so as you saw, I took out the uh, the bottom jaw. It's out. It's done. The meat is peeling. We're going to use the water hose to spray off all the um, meat. It's been in there for maybe an hour, an hour and a half. Um, we're going to spray it off real quick before it gets too cold. Hope you all enjoying the video so far. Make sure y'all keep y'all's teeth. And then just try and get as much as this water as you uh, 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 try and get as much as this meat off as you can. And a pressure washer does work, but I don't have one at this moment. So that's why I boiled it extra long so the meat will come off with a water hose. And then the stuff that it doesn't get comes off so easy with your fingers. All right, so real quick, what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab these wrenches. This wrench, blah, 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 I can't talk, guys. Sorry. And we're gonna grab the end of the nostril, and it usually comes off better. Now look, sometimes, don't worry, but sometimes this part of the nose will come off. That's perfectly fine. We're just gonna have to super glue it the next bat. Uh, we're gonna have to super glue it when it's all done and everything. But get all that meat off in the in the nostril. Set it aside and get all the other meat out. Sometimes it's more difficult, sometimes it's not. In this case, it was pretty difficult because it usually comes off in one piece. And then right here, in front of, these are the eardrums. Just want to bash those in. Right there. All right. I'm gonna go in here. We can get all the meat that we can out. Oh. All right, guys. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a, a gallon of peroxide and then a gallon of water, which is gonna be 50% peroxide, 50% water. Then we're gonna put it in the we're gonna bring it to a boil, and then once it reaches that boil, we'll turn it right off, come outside, rinse the rest of the meat off with me. I've done a raccoon skull, squirrel skulls, that's all I'm good at, but like, I have not done a raccoon skull, I mean a, a hog skull, and I'm trying to master it, figure out new ways. I left it in there too long, shouldn't have, and made the bone fragile. But we're gonna put it in the boil, and then we're gonna come out here, wash it, it should be white. If it's not, then we're gonna have to do it again, guys. All right, guys, the, it came to a full rolling boil, it's done. Turn it off immediately, and then we're going to show you what it looks like, and then we're going to rinse it, get the rest of the meat off, and then we're just going to let it sit overnight, put some mopping glow on it. I hope you all enjoyed this video. I enjoyed making it, but it was a little more difficult because it's my second time doing a hog, or like third. can't remember. Let's see how this one comes out, guys. I'm, I'm, I'm just going to keep trying new techniques and stuff. Tell me if you all know more about it, and uh, just I, I'm going to try, guys.
so far the jaw actually came out to be pretty white so I'm excited about that Now from what I can see so far, it is starting to, it's drying off, most parts are white, some parts are starting to grease, so what we're going to do is we're going to leave it in the peroxide overnight on the morning, we're going to show you what they look like, the full product, um, but until then we'll see you in the morning, if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe, and tell me what I did wrong, if I did anything wrong, but we'll get some good shots of it in the morning and everything, but uh, till then, I will see y'all in the morning. It is a beautiful day in America and in Texas. But anyways, we're going to check these skulls. I actually looked at them right... Oh, shoot. Hold on. I actually looked at them right now, and they actually look pretty good. Like, I, I just looked at the nose. Don't worry. Y'all are along with this with me. I want to tell y'all, do not use... um, Do not use a pressure washer or any kind of hard power of water source because you, you can cut the bone in half because it's going to be soft. And then let it dry out and... We'll check it here in a minute, but um, let's get it out here real quick. All right, guys. That looks absolutely amazing. So far, so good, guys. There's the bottom jaw. And then I'll get the teeth and everything. But just look at them right out of the bucket. They look white as it can be. Yeah, the bone is very fragile. It can scratch off. That is just beautiful, guys. Okay, guys, if you were wondering why we leave them in there overnight, it is to help degrease hogs. Hogs have so much grease, and it will make the bone fragile. And you're still going to see some grease spots, but this is the best I've done yet, guys, and I'm absolutely excited. So we're going to come over here. I'm going to do a montage, show you what it looks like. You want the nose down and the jaw down because you want the water to come downwards. And uh, so nothing sits in there. I got the teeth out. I got that one piece on the other nostril that broke. But you could easily super glue that. They look so good, guys. And I'm so excited. I hope y'all are too. The next video I might come out with, I think it might be a raccoon cash clean cook. And then I'm going to keep the head and we're going to do another one. We're going to do a raccoon euro mount. But anyways, let me get finish, finish spraying off this uh, driveway to get all the peroxide off. And then what you do with your peroxide, you keep it. You put it in a bucket and you put it away in your garage. And uh, if y'all have any more questions, let me know in the comments. If you have any other ways, let me know in the comments. I'll try them. I know about the ants and stuff like that. But this is my by far the best one. And then after this, we're going to put mop and glue on them. And then they're done. Let them dry. And then they're done, guys. And we're going we're gonna to look at them. I'm very excited, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. But let's come over here and look at them. All right, guys, here's the final product. They're not fully dry. I still got to let them drip dry in the sun a little bit more. If you have a fan, I would advise you using a fan. But check them out. They're just absolutely beautiful. I've never gotten a hog head this white. And I can see where I still messed up. And y'all are along with, with me on this. So, you know, we're, we're learning together, guys. But it's still wet and everything. But dry enough to put all of our stuff over here. All of our teeth on and everything. But, um, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I enjoyed making it. Um, I tried really hard. I've never, I, I should have, if I would have tried harder, I feel like I could have gotten them even better. 
Y'all probably can't see, but there's like one grease spot right here. And that's perfectly fine though. It's really hard to get grease out of the hogs. But uh, we're gonna put our teeth in here real quick. And then we're gonna show you the last uh, part of it. And let me know if y'all want another video like this down in the comments. There's the finishing product guys. This skull is done. I really hope y'all enjoyed this video. I loved making it. I put all the teeth in. I put this jaw back on as best as I could. I'll probably mess with it when I come back. I gotta go somewhere right now. But I made this video just to show y'all how I do it and to show y'all that I have respect for these animals. So every time I look at this hog, I know that I harvested his meat and you know, he wasn't he wasn't for nothing. And we will get better at, at doing all this and everything, but for now, this is like, this is an A plus for me, guys. And I just, I, I cannot believe how good it came out, because it's taken me a long time to even, I didn't even think it was going to come out white, but I'm glad it did. Now, we're going to go somewhere, and I'll be back to, to start another video, and I really hope y'all enjoyed it. I appreciate y'all. I'm going to leave my video, my channel here. My other video is here. If y'all like this video, please subscribe. Give me a big thumbs up and turn on that post notification. I have another video coming out probably about raccoon catch, clean, and cook or how to trap a raccoon. But uh, if y'all want to see a hog catch, clean, and cook, let me know in the comments. Uh, and I, I really appreciate y'all watching this video. Love y'all. Take life slow and enjoy it.